So Henry, just take us through those events of the 21st of May. Yeah, you may recall that one of Scott Morrison's final acts as Prime Minister was to hold a press conference in his own electorate on Election Day, where he was asked by a journalist about reports that Australia had intercepted a suspected asylum seeker boat that was travelling to Australia. Now, in that press conference, he confirmed that that was the case. And then a short time later, a short statement appeared from the head of Operation Sovereign Borders, also confirming that. Now, that really puzzled and surprised a few people because, of course, we were so used to the former government refusing to comment on such operations, uh, saying that they were unwilling to talk about on-water matters. And then in the coming hours, in the afternoon of Election Day, there were text messages sent by the Liberal Party to voters across the country, alerting them to the fact that there was this suspected uh, asylum seeker boat travelling to Australia. Now, that infuriated the Labor Party, who believed that this was a very political act with accusations that it also breached caretaker conventions and they ordered the Home Affairs Department to conduct a formal review of what happened on that day and that is what has been released. So what has that review now revealed? Well, it stepped us through the timeline of discussions that were happening from the Home Affairs Minister's office and senior public servants. And what it does reveal is that it was, as the ABC had reported, that it was the Prime Minister's office who wanted uh, this operation to be made public, but also that there was a degree of uncomfortable uncomfort from senior public servants who pushed back against a couple of requests. There was no discussion while the operation was ongoing and then senior public servants also declined to send that statement to specific journalists as a request had been made. Now the head of the Department of Home Affairs, Mark Pizzullo, was also alert to the fact that this would be a highly political event even early on in the morning telling staff to be alert. In a sense this report exonerates the public service and says that they acted uh, with integrity but there does appear to be some degree of pressure from the minister's office, particularly when there was a delay uploading a statement. There is a series of correspondence from the Home Affairs Minister's office in which uh, really the frustrations of the government is put to them saying, where is the statement? A lot of people are furious. Now, Henry, how has the former Home Affairs Minister responded? Well, she said uh, this morning that there was no breach of caretaker conventions and that no rules were broken. Really, she's trying to step forward that what she believed it was in the public interest to alert people to the fact that there had uh, been an operation. But of course, that is hard to square with the reluctance to talk about this in previous years. Also insisting that there was no pressure placed upon senior public servants, despite what the report from the department says as well. Karen Andrews is also making it quite clear uh, that a, a briefing was given to the opposition and that was why they wanted to expedite this process, but also that she had been asked to do this by the Prime Minister's office. Let's have a listen to how she put it this morning while speaking to Channel 9. The report makes it very, very clear that there was no breach of caretaker conventions. Uh, I asked the department to lawfully put out a statement, and actually it wasn't the department, it was the head of operation uh, Sovereign Borders. And I asked clearly for the statement to be put out in a very situational uh, awareness type of report. So it really just stuck to the facts. It just needed to be brief. It was just needed to be put out there so that it was clear that there had been a vessel that had been intercepted. Now, despite that defence from the former Home Affairs Minister Karen Andrews, Labor are still furious about this ordeal. The current Home Affairs Minister Claire O'Neill has described it as disgraceful and shameful. Political reporter Henry Bello with the details there from Parliament House.